Look, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. In this video, I'm gonna show you the only way you can scale to 10 million ARR through paid advertising. And before you call BS and think this is just a load of you know fluff, um, let me show you the back end of a client's Shopify right now. So obviously I've blurred out um, a lot of the details just for you know privacy reasons, but the, the, the main metric that matters here is total sales and the date range. So as we can see, I've got basically quarter to date. So that's the 1st of January, as you can see, 2021. 1st of January, selected through to today's date, which is the 8th of March, and we're comparing it to the previous year. So let me just go ahead and select that here. So 1st of January through to the 8th of March, apply. You can see quarter to date already, um, we have, let me compare it to the previous year here. We've generated 1.5 million, which is up 274% in comparison to this time last year. So you can see it's compared to the uh, Jan 1st to March 8th of 2020 we're up 274%. So look, there's gonna be no airy-fairy stuff in here. This is something that we're doing month over month over month for our clients at Bax Consulting. Now, what is Bax Consulting? Well, essentially, it's the e-commerce advertising agency that I personally run, which injects a couple extra million into our clients' bottom line in three months or less. And actually right below this video, you can see a bunch more case studies where we're adding multiple millions, as I say, to our client's bottom line in three months or less using exactly what I'm about to show you inside of this video. And if that isn't enough, Bass Consulting actually guarantees our clients results. So if they don't experience results like I just showed you and the ones that, as I say, that you can see below this video, they don't pay us a penny. They literally don't pay us a cent. And that's how powerful what I'm about to show you truly is. Now, look, if you're like most of our clients where they just seen the ridiculous results we're able to generate month on month, they realize there's literally no downside as it's physically impossible to lose money at Bats and Tilting as everything's guaranteed. Unlike most agencies out there, and you just wanna hop straight on a call to see how we can apply this directly to your business, then go ahead, click the Let's Chat button right below this video and book in your free project scale session where I'll literally walk you through exactly how we can add an extra one to five million to your bottom line in three months or less. So as I say, if that's you, just go ahead, click the Let's Chat button right below this video and book in your free project scale session. Now, if you're wanting to know exactly how you can scale your business, the only way that you can scale your business to 10 million ARR through paid advertising, then you're in the perfect place because that's exactly what I'm going to cover in this video. Now, as I mentioned at the start, I do deeply respect your time as a business owner. So I'm gonna keep this video very short and just straight to the point. Now, if you're wanting to understand on a deeper level how we're able to routinely generate 250K a month profit through paid advertising, we're able to scale our clients to 10 million ARR and we're just overall able to increase profit margins while scaling, then there's a bunch more hyper detailed videos right below this one covering those exact concepts and topics and whatnot. Now, with that being said, let me just show you the only way that you can scale your brand to 10 million ARR. So look, the number one way to scale your brand to 10 million ARR, even 5 million a year, right? The number one way to do it is to be always optimizing for purchases. This is the number one issue that I see amongst all advertising agencies. I see amongst majority of e-commerce businesses who work with advertisers, media buyers, marketers, agencies, whatever it is, it's the number one issue I see. And every single brand who can't scale past a certain point is doing exactly this. And it's why they can't scale past a certain point. You know, every time they try and scale, they just hit a, a glass ceiling. And also the reason why their marketing is just not profitable one little bit, it's because they don't optimize for purchase. Now, let me just show you this here real quick. So this is, um right, this is the approach that we implement for our clients. That, as I say, enables us to generate a quarter million a month profit for our clients. Now, you can see here at the top of funnel, right? The goal of top Top of funnel. Now bear in mind, top of funnel is basically obviously TOF and that is everybody who has never seen your brand before. This is completely cold audiences. They've never heard of you. They don't know what your product is. They, they have no idea who you are, right? They don't know you from a hole in the wall. Now our goal with top of funnel is to profitably inject customers into your funnel at a three to seven X ROAS, right? That's the goal of top of funnel. Now, the issue is that so many marketers don't do this top of funnel. And that is the sole reason why their marketing is routinely just burning through money and it's just not producing any discernible ROI. It's because they can't profitably inject people into the overarching funnel. Why is that? Because they optimize for engagement, they'll optimize for video views, they'll optimize for likes, for followers, all this different type of stuff, right? They'll optimize for these other objectives that have literally no purpose whatsoever. So what they'll do is they'll come into whatever paid medium they're using. And as you can see here, right, this is a, 
campaign objectives, right? So this basically means, you know, what is your goal with the specific campaign that you're running, right? And this is where every single person goes wrong in marketing. They'll either optimize for, you know, awareness or they'll optimize for consideration, right? Brand awareness or traffic or engagement or video views or messages or whatever it is, store traffic, right? All of these objectives are absolutely useless and they will not get you to 10 million ARR guaranteed. They won't generate you any discernible results. Why? Because it's people who are never going to buy. See the, the, you know, the thought process of optimizing for like engagement or traffic or these audiences have no idea who we are. So it's best to, you know, warm them up and get them into the funnel and then we'll retarget to them with an offer. And by that point, they would have gone through maybe a two, four, six, eight week um, kind of, you know, uh, a warming up sequence. So then when we present them or not, so then when we present them an offer, you know, they're more likely to convert now, that logic makes sense, but in reality, it's fundamentally flawed. The reason being is because everybody who's inside of an engagement audience or a traffic audience or whatever it is, the reason they're inside those audiences is because they are not likely to purchase. If they were likely to purchase, they'd be in the purchase audience, right? So everybody who's inside of engagement, uh, for example, is, mo is more likely to engage with an ad than they are to purchase from an ad. That's why they're in the engagement audience and not in the purchase audience, right? Makes sense. So then what happens when you run a campaign for the engagement objective, for example, or traffic objective? So what happens then is you're flooding your funnel with all of this traffic, right? Which looks amazing from a numbers perspective. But then what happens is when you do go ahead and present them an offer, nobody buys. Nobody's gonna purchase. Why? Because straight from the get-go, right? It's people who are never going to purchase. That's why you can flood your funnel for such a cheap price. And so inside of the paid marketing platform, whichever you're using, Facebook, Google, whatever, that traffic is, the, you know, there's no competition there for that traffic. Because there's no competition, it drives down the price, which means you can inject your funnel with that type of traffic for very cheap because nobody's trying to go after it. The reason being is because they're never going to convert. Now, on the flip side, as I said to you before, Bax Consulting's main goal, top of funnel, is to inject customers into the funnel at a three to seven X ROAS or inject traffic into the funnel at a three to seven X ROAS. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna inject this entire funnel, right? At a three to seven X ROAS. So instantly, straight off the bat, straight on, on cold audiences, we are profitable. This is the beauty of direct response marketing. This is the beauty of effective advertising. I'll, I'll admit it, you will not be able to convert customers at a three to seven X ROAS on cold, people who have no idea who you are, you won't be able to convert them if your advertising isn't perfect, if your advertising doesn't deeply resonate with those that you're showing that ad to. You know, if those ads don't create a burning desire in your ideal customer for them to buy your product, then yeah, you're never gonna convert them at a three to seven X ROAS. However, as I say, when you do it correctly, like we do at Bax Consulting for all of our clients, we're able to routinely inject them into the funnel at a three to seven X ROAS, right? And so as a byproduct of that, we essentially convert three to 5% of people directly from cold. We have a three to 5% on average, three to 5% ad conversion rate directly from cold, right? Straight off the bat, we're profitable instantly. And then what happens is that remaining 95 to 97% of that traffic will get injected into our retargeting funnel. And then that's where we'll then go ahead and pick up the low hanging fruit. And that's where we'll then go ahead and show them offers on retargeting, you know, with like traffic objective top of funnel, you know, people say like, oh, we'll inject them into the funnel and then we'll show them an offer on retargeting and then they'll purchase, right? And we're doing the same thing, right? With retargeting, we'll then go ahead and show them an offer. But because the traffic originally is correct traffic, because the traffic who does get injected into our retargeting funnel is people who are actually gonna purchase. And so it's at that point that we then see our retargeting convert two to three times higher than it does on top of funnel. And so that kind of puts it into perspective, right? Top of funnel, we aim for a three to seven X ROAS. Retargeting, we see a two to three times higher return than three to seven X on our retargeting. Now, the only way that's possible is because those who are in our retargeting are people who are actually likely to purchase. That's why they are in the conversion objective on Facebook and that's why they're slightly higher, right? Obviously going conversion objective and optimizing for purchases, that's the most expensive audience within Facebook. However, the reason being is because everybody in there is likely to purchase. So now, yes, you're running ads to a more expensive audience, but everybody you're showing the ad to is likely to purchase. So if you're able to craft adverts that, as I said before, create a deep desire in that ideal customer whom you're showing the ad to for your product, you know, you create a deep desire in them for them to actually buy 
buy your product and you actually go ahead and persuade them to physically purchase your product, then as I say, ramping to 10 million ARR becomes extremely simple when you're able to convert a complete cold stranger into a paying customer at a three to seven X ROAS, right? And then obviously everybody who doesn't convert goes into your retargeting funnel. And because your retargeting funnel is structured correctly, then again, those retargeting audiences convert two to three times higher than your top of funnel does. So then all you need to do is just inject money into that overarching system that spits out cash. And it's just a matter of time until you reach 10 million ARR, given you've got product operations you know, obviously down packed in the back end and whatnot, and you can actually handle that increase in scale. At that point, if all of those things are in place, it becomes very, very easy to. However, as I said before, if you're running anything other than conversions purchase with your advertising, even if you're doing conversions add to cart, right? Your objective is conversions, but you're optimizing for add to cart. Well, even in that instance, it's not people who are actually gonna buy. That's why they're in the add to cart audience and not the purchase audience. So if you're wanting a push button way to implement this directly into your business, literally today, then book a call below.